Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. On this day, the 12th of Muharram, the holy captives of Karbala, the remaining members of the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi are brought into Kufa. The governor of Kufa, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, spreads thousands of his soldiers around Kufa, making sure that there is no upheaval. And the order was also given that nobody in Kufa is allowed to carry any weapons, no swords, not even a walking stick. This was all precautionary measures out of fear that there will be some kind of retaliation of the people once they come to know who the Subaya are. The blessed heads of the Shuhada that were on the tip of spears were also distributed and the captives of Karbala were paraded around the city. They were of course still on the saddleless camels surrounded by soldiers. Along with them was the new Imam, our fourth Imam, Imam Ali al-Sajjad Zayn al-Abidin alayhi salam, who still had heavy chains around his neck, also sitting on a camel without a saddle. This was all intended to break their morale and further humiliate them. People asked them, which captives are you? And the women of Imam Hussein alayhi salam said, Nahnu usara ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam called out to the people in the streets addressing them and so did Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salam. When they were taken to the palace of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, he had gathered all the chiefs of the tribes and the dignitaries and placed the blessed head of Imam Hussein alayhi salam right there in front of him. Then we see the courageous Sayyidah Zainab delivering that eloquent sermon in front of everyone. And then Imam al-Sajjad also delivered a sermon. Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad said to Sayyidah Zainab, what do you think about what it is that God did to you? Sayyidah Zainab with a tone full of pride and power, showing her faith and submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, replied, Ubaidullah got angry and then turned to provoke Imam al-Sajjad, mocking him. And Imam al-Sajjad with all serenity answered back. Ubaidullah then said, kill him. But Sayyidah Zainab rushed to the Imam and said to him, if you kill him, you must kill me as well. Imam al-Sajjad with all bravery said, Back to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, are you threatening me with death, ya ibn Ziyad? Ama alimt anna al qatla lana aada wa karamatuna min Allahi shahada? The Sabaya of Karbala were then taken to Ibn Ziyad's prison and they stayed in Kufa until the 19th of Muharram. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.